Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're all going to be getting our caravans ready for the season and we're going to be making sure they're safe and everything is secure and we can enjoy our season. But do we give much thought to our tow cars? What happens if you get a puncture? Do you have a spur wheel? Or do you have the space saver? Or do you have the gel? These things are quite important and I'm going to go through them today and explain them. And I found a brilliant company that can supply you with some of the parts that you might need if you don't have them like me. Now most modern car manufacturers these days don't offer a spur wheel as standard uh, in any guise whether it be a full size or space saver. What they do supply is this which is the puncture gel. Now it might be actually good if you've got a small puncture but if you have a side wall blowout which I did a while ago on my A6 this would have been absolutely useless. Luckily I had a space saver wheel. So I spoke to Skoda and I thought, well, I'll, I'll have a look, see how much they cost. And like I said, they vary between 250 to 300 pounds, which is a lot of money just for a wheel. So I thought, is there an alternative out there on the internet? So I had a good look and I found a company called The Wheel Shop. They're based uh, quite locally to me. And I had a look on their website and I noticed that they sell space saver wheels for ma most makes of manufacturers of cars motorhomes and they do caravans as well which I thought was a great idea. So I went and had a look for my car and because I've got a shallow boot well I could only have a space saver. So I'm going to show you what we've got from the wheel shop. Okay so this is the current setup I have in my Skoda Karak and it's the compressor and puncture gel. I'm going to be removing this in a moment and I'll show you what I've got now. Now, now that I've removed this from the boot well, uh, there's a couple of things that I need to take out of this in order to add to my kit that I've got now. First things first, don't forget your locking wheel nut system and also your towing iron as well. Now, this car and my Audi also came with this piece of metal, it's a hook. And what it's for is, is to remove the actual plastic caps off your wheel nuts. And it's rubbish, to be honest with you, and it scratches if you don't do it right. So the best thing to do with that is leave it in that kit and stick it in the garage and get yourself one of these. It's a little plastic U-clip, and what it does, it hooks behind the plastic caps and it pulls them off so that uh, it doesn't cause any damage or scratching to your wheels. So worth a couple of quid, you can get them on the internet, and I, I swear by these, I, every time I get a car, if I lose this, I always get another one. Great bit of kit. So the rest of it I'm going to put in the garage. I'm not going to use the tyre compressor because, to, to be honest with you, they're not very good. You're better off with a digital one and pro preferably one that's battery powered. That's not. You have to plug it in, so you're reliant on your 12 volts. So this is the Space Saver wheel that I've got from the wheel shop. Now it's a uh, 18 inch which matches the 18 inch rims that I've got on the car and the stud pattern matches the one on the vehicle as well. Now this is maximum speed of uh, 80 kilometers an hour, which is about 49 miles an hour. If you're towing with your caravan, obviously you're gonna do a lot slower speed. Now one thing I did learn when I was using a space saver is quite simple, is if you get a rear puncture, take the front wheel off uh, and put it on the back and put the space saver on the front. That's where you've got a better load when you've got the caravan on or a trailer. Now the wheel shop, as well as stocking many space saver and full size steel spare wheels, they also will provide uh, at a cost some optional extras as well. And I chose to buy the scissor jack, which is rated to three ton, a telescopic wheel nut wrench, a spare wheel cover, and also a tool bag cover as well. So I'm going to set them up now and show you exactly what I got. Okay, so let's take a look at the kit that I bought separate to the actual space saver. Now we have the three ton jack here. As I said before, it is rated for three ton. And instead of a winding handle, you have a ratchet system, which is a lot better because this is going to put a lot less strain on your knees or your back when you're actually jacking the vehicle up. The telescopic wrench at the back there. What I like about this is not only does it do 17 mil, it does 19, 21 and 23 mil. So it's quite a universal tool this and it will fit most vehicles in the UK. 
again because it's telescopic it's going to put less stress on your back when you're trying to release the knots now just underneath the jack is actually a nylon heavy duty pouch which I'm going to fit it all into now so that we can fit it underneath the boot floor and it's nice and safe and it's not going to rattle around. Now the last item I bought is this wheel bag. Uh, it's a heavy duty nylon uh, bag and the wheel fits inside it. Now I could have bought a central spindle hub to actually secure the uh, wheel down in the boot space but I decided against that and, and chose a bag basically because generally you can get mucky and I thought if I'm away and, and I'm, in, I'm in my best togs I'm not going to get covered in muck basically so I went for this uh, for that reason and also because the boot uh, lining in my boot well is actually uh, carpeted this has velcro on it as well so it's not going to slide around inside so I'll put all this together now and I'll show you the finished article. So there we have it, we have the space saver in the bag and we also have the toolkit in its bag. And I think you'll agree it's a nice neat setup and it's easy for you to get in and out, especially when it's raining. So a few of you are probably saying right now, well, should you really be toying with a space saver wheel? Well, you actually can, but the idea of it is to use it just to get you out of danger. If you have a puncture on the motorway or a dual carriageway, somewhere very busy like that, and you're not be able to put yourself in a position where you're a lot safer, that wheel has got to be changed out as quick as possible and gone. It's just to get you to a place of safety so that you can get your main tyre repaired. And it's better than the gel. The gel uh, is a quick fix that may work, and if it doesn't work, where are you gonna go then if you've no wheel? Now, I'm supporting the wheel shop basically because it's a UK company and also I'm supporting them because they're local to me as well. Now, the wheel shop supply uh, space saver wheels and spare wheels for many makes of car and they're also caravan and motorhomes as I explained earlier. And they do them at a cheaper rate than your dealer would actually provide. And ironically, they do supply to some of your local dealers as well. And they add their little bit extra on top just because you've ordered it through the dealer. But the ultimate place it comes from is the wheel shop. So why don't you check them out on the, the link I'm going to leave below. Could save yourself a few quid and a lot of heartache if you're stuck at the side of a motorway with a puncture. Well, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you'll join us again real soon. But in the meantime, bye for now.